Okay, so when you add a lower third to OBS and you wanna put text on it, here is what you need to do. So the very first thing is you need to have additional scenes because you have to be able to trigger it for when you're putting it together. So in this situation, I'm just going to create a new scene. I'm gonna call it lower third. Once that's created, then I need to come over to the sources area and I'm going to add a media source. This is the actual lower third background itself. And then I'm just gonna find that on my computer. Okay, I'm gonna click on the lower third. I'm gonna pull that in. So once I have that in, I wanna make sure that it restart when playback or restart playback when source becomes active is turned on and I'm gonna click on okay. Now, this, as you can see, you're not seeing anything on the screen right now, and that's why we need to have an additional scene in here. Now, if you're stacking all this up in your normal OBS scenes and you've already got this, but I have a blank scene here just so I can transition back and forth to actually make this visible because it pops up on that restart. So once I have that, then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add text to it by going to text GDI. And I'm just gonna call this lower third text. Now with this, I'm just going to say your text would be here. And just so you know, um, just in case you don't know this already, um, inside of OBS, if you click on this select font option, then you can come in, you can select from a bunch of different um, fonts that you have on your computer. And of course you can adjust sizing and things like that, which is good. But once you have that look that you're going for, then you wanna click on okay. And of course, you know, once you have that, you can also grab that corner and you can stretch it out here as well. So once you have that in here, what you wanna do is I'm actually gonna bring this down and I'm gonna ballpark around where I think that it might show up and then we're gonna fine tune it. So once we have that in there, next we are going to transition just so we can have a visual of the lower third and then we're gonna move this into place and we can use our arrow keys to bump this into the right position to fine tune it. But as you can see, as the lower third goes away, the text is still here, okay? So once you get the text in the right place that you want, now we gotta make it to where the text actually disappears. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on the text layer, and then I'm going to go up to Tools, and then I'm gonna go to Scripts. Now, inside of here, I wanna click on the Scripts tab, and then I want to load a script. Now, this script, this visibility timer, is available underneath this video, so you can download this or there'll be a download link to where you can get it, but we're gonna load two of them. We're gonna load an in script and we're gonna load an out script. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the in, and then I'm gonna do it again and go ahead and load the out. So what we do now is we click on the in, and then here I'm going to show source after a specified time. I'm gonna click the lower third text, and then here for the show, I'm just gonna do one, and one, and then for the out, I'm going to do hide at a specified time, and then we're gonna pick on the text as well, and then here we are going to do a 10, and let's see how this works. So as you can see, it had that little bit of a delay when it comes on, which is great because then it makes it look like it's part of the graphic and then it goes away and the lower third goes away. And that is how you build a lower third scene and add text to it.